Okay, hello. So today we're going to talk a little bit about pure substances versus mixtures. And this kind of builds on what we've been talking about with the periodic table and the elements. So what we left off with was that pure substances are what we as chemists are striving to get to, but we don't usually work with pure substances in the lab. We usually work with mixtures, so I want to make the distinction between the two. Pure substances are substances that can be described with a chemical formula or symbol. That would be like what we see on the periodic table. So for example, we have H2O, that's water or um, something like Fe, which we said is iron. Both of those are represented by chemical formulas, so they are pure substances. Even though water is made up of two elements, it is still considered to be a pure substance. Okay. The other thing about pure substances is they have to have a constant composition. Constant composition. And what I mean by this is that if you take a sample from one side, so you have a sample, whatever it looks like, you have a sample from a little bit here, you sample a little bit from the top, a little bit from the side, and you always come up with the same ratio of components, or you always come up with the same stuff that's in there. And this isn't true in mixtures, but it is true in pure substances. So constant composition is really important when we're talking about this distinction. If we have one or more of these pure substances together, then that's when we have a mixture. Okay, so more than one pure substance mixed together. It could be more than two. We usually think about a mixture as just being two things, but we could have more than two things. That would be fine also. And more often than not, we as chemists interact with mixtures in the lab. Now these mixtures can have two formats. We can have things that are either really well mixed together. So we call those homogeneous mixtures. or homogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous, homogeneous, I've heard it both ways. Homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. Okay, solutions are homogeneous mixtures, and you hear about solutions when you're hearing about chemists, and you may picture chemists in the lab putting together their solutions. Uh, that's a homogeneous mixture, or homogeneous mixture of pure substances. And what this means, uh, the prefix homo means the same. So what this means is this mixture looks the same to the naked eye throughout. So we can't distinguish one component from the other. Hopefully you can kind of read my chicken scratch there. So homogeneous mixtures, they look the same throughout. You can't tell the difference between one component or the other, and that's why we call them homogeneous. The opposite of that, or another option, is to have a heterogeneous mixture. Hetero, the prefix means different, so heterogeneous mixture means that you can tell the difference physically between the components in the mixture. Okay, so heterogeneous versus homogeneous. Both of them are a mixture of more than one pure substance, but this is the distinction to be made. 
Now, homogeneous mixtures are much more common. We see them in solutions in the lab. More often than not, it's stuff that's mixed with water. So we could have a solution of, let's say, salt, like table salt, and water. So an example of this would be sodium chloride and water. Each one of those on their own has a chemical formula, has a constant composition, which means that each one of these is a pure substance, and when we mix them together, you can't tell the difference between the salt and the water, and you guys have experienced this in your own kitchens. You dissolve the salt in the water, you don't see chunks of salt anymore. A heterogeneous mixture would be something like sand and water. If I took sand or dirt and I put it in water, then I can tell the difference between the two things, right? There's a difference between the chunky sand and the liquid water. They have a physical difference as well as a visual difference. So those would be two different types of mixtures, okay?